Hey Sand Freaks, welcome. Today I'm going to review for you a discovery set by a fragrance house that I've been intrigued with for quite some time I would say. I haven't been able to get any samples or a discovery set until recently so I'm very very grateful that I have one now. I wanted to try them for you guys before I reviewed them so I have looked at them previously for a couple of days I've kind of been playing with them just to see what they're all about um, but the brand is called AN Other and I think the attraction came from the scent note listings and the brand itself it just appealed to me for whatever reason so there's three fragrances in the discovery set that I will go through with you and tell you my thoughts on. Don't forget to subscribe and hit notifications if you love all things fragrance. Okay guys, so this is the discovery set here. It's, as I said, by AN Other. I think this one is a little bit of an unknown brand. I certainly have seen some really positive reviews out there. Okay guys, so I just wanna show you what the discovery set looks like because I was quite impressed with what I received. The box is cardboard, but it's a really thick, heavy-duty, high-quality cardboard. And when you open it, you're met with a little black card with the brand's name. And I thought what was really cute is that there's these little cards in here with pictures of the perfumers for each fragrance, which I thought was really super unique and something I'd never seen before. And then these are the three fragrances inside. Okay, so the three fragrances from this brand, and as far as I know, they're the only three fragrances the brand actually has, is WF2020, OR2018, and FR2018. The names are quite confusing. I was a little lost, because, especially being that there's two 2018s. Okay, guys, so the first one we're going to talk about is FR2018. While it's drying down on the test strip, I will give you guys the scent notes. FR 2018 is 166 Australian dollars for a 100 ml EDP concentration bottle. It has top notes of frosted melon, grapefruit, tonic water and gin, mid notes of juniper, ginger and lavender, and base notes of metallic notes, musk and amberwood. Okay, so the first thing I noticed when I spritzed this fragrance is that it's incredibly fresh and zingy it's like it wakes you up immediately the second that you smell it it definitely has this cologne vibe and i think would be perfect as a summer fragrance there is no lemon listed in this fragrance but that's a lot of what i get like a zesty fresh lemon it's just really really energizing and as i said very very zingy and fresh it absolutely reminds me of an icy cold like gin and tonic with a fresh wedge of lemon in the glass. It's incredibly refreshing and invigorating, which is why I think the perfect place for it is for summer. It would be perfect on a nice hot summer day. It's not too heavy, but it's still there definitely to get compliments. It also doesn't smell fake or artificial. It smells quite genuine to the notes that are listed in the fragrance. It is sweet, but it smells like it's sweet from juicy melon as opposed to a whole heap of sugar and syrup thrown in. I really enjoyed this fragrance. It's definitely worth sampling and I'm even considering buying the full bottle. The next fragrance we're going to talk about is OR 2018. Let's let that dry down and go through the scent notes. OR 2018 is also 166 Australian dollars for a 100 ml EDP concentration bottle. It has top notes of sugar, star anise, blood orange and lemon, mid notes of cannabis, night blooming jasmine and mira, and base notes of tonka bean, vanilla and driftwood. Okay, so the first thing that I noticed when I smelt it is that it had a hell of a kick, like more, more of a kick than I realized it would. It's just like, whoa, like it's just very, very zappy. I got a lot of orange and lemon on the initial spritz, but quite quickly that kind of dried down a little bit and it became more about that cannabis. There is a vanilla presence but it's unlike any vanilla combo I've smelt before. The cannabis in this fragrance is not a dirty earthy cannabis either. It's quite a fresh kind of yummy cannabis. 
I'm not really into cannabis-based fragrances. I've found in my experience anyway that a lot of them smell a bit dirty to me or like, I don't know, dirty bong water or something. It's just not appealing. Whereas this one, I feel like the cannabis was done right. The cannabis note is also incredibly aromatic. Probably one of the most aromatic scents I've ever smelled. It's really not a typical vanilla type of fragrance I would gravitate towards, but smelling it, it honestly has me thinking. Like, because it's so unusual but addictive. I would say that this fragrance is a semi-green, somewhat herby, citric, vanilla scent, but done in a totally unique way. I think I need some more time with this fragrance to really ascertain if I would buy a full bottle, but there is something that's definitely got me a little hypnotized about this fragrance. Okay guys, so we're up to the last one in the discovery kit, and that is the WF2020. They're kind of weird names. I'm sure they have a meaning. I don't know what they are, but they're odd names. <laughs> Again, while it's drying down, we'll go through the scent notes. WF2020 is also a 166 Australian dollars for a 100 ml EDP concentration bottle. It has top notes of saffron, bergamot, and ambrette, mid notes of rose, pomegranate, and peony, and base notes of patchouli, suede, and musk. The first thing I thought about smelling this was that it was incredibly polarizing, but it wasn't a typical loud scent to be polarizing. There's something subdued about it, but it's definitely polarizing. It's like it's almost saying to me or whispering to me, like, I don't need to be loud and obnoxious. I'm elegant, I'm refined, and I don't need to do much to accomplish that. It really does have this modern and airy vibe to it too. Like there's nothing old fashioned or been there, done that about this fragrance. The best way to describe what I smell when I smell the fragrance is that it reminds me of like silky rose and soft peony petals in like a, a brand new expensive leather handbag. That's exactly what this reminds me of because that, there's like a leather sway kind of scent happening. And then you've got the floral elements. It really does smell suede, leathery and floral, but in this really beautiful way. There is also definitely a scent of high end soft Italian suede in this fragrance. Despite the fact I would not call this an affordable line, it is cheaper than a lot that are out there. And it definitely smells more expensive than it costs in my opinion. I love the fact that the rose in this fragrance is so modern and it's not overpowering. It just takes you to a beautiful fresh rose with beautiful dew drops on it. I think this one would be probably the best signature scent out of the three of them. I think this one would be an epic signature scent actually because it's so unusual and people will definitely be perplexed by this fragrance. You will get loads of people I think coming up and being like, oh my goodness, what is your fragrance? I think that this fragrance is definitely worth a sniff or a sample for sure. Okay, scent freaks, so that's the video for today. I hope I've been able to shed some light on essentially a house that I don't hear a lot about and I think people should be talking about it. These fragrances are inventive, they're something new, they're not crazy, crazy expensive and I think they're compliment getting and I think a lot of people would enjoy them but they're still unique enough not to smell like everybody else. If you guys have any questions at all about these fragrances, please don't hesitate to shoot it in the comments below and I will definitely get back to you. If any of you have had experiences with this fragrance at all, please let me know what your thoughts were. I would love to hear them. Again, pop it in the comments and I will get back to you. Thank you so much, Zen Freaks. I love and appreciate you all and I hope to see you all next time. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.